Shalom, everybody. Welcome to Kabbalat Shabbat, very special edition. Hola, Oscar. Indeed, very special, Rabbi. Where are we right <laughs> uh -huh. now? Give a little greeting to Spanish the, to everyone. Yeah, I want to do some Spanish to the, the public. Yeah. Give them a greeting from bueno. the Holy Land of España. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom a todos y gracias por estar con nosotros. Les saludamos desde aquí el Rabino Isaac Shapira y el Pastor Oscar Salinas desde Barcelona, España. We are in Barcelona. You see a lot of people around us now because we're actually standing yes. in a very special place, yeah. very important place. This called the Court mm -hmm. of the King. Yes. People are coming here and they're touring and they don't understand what happened in here in this place. Yes. Oscar, you want to tell the people of God. First of all, I want everybody to share it like this Kabbalah Shabbat today going to be amazing and very special. You want to tell people what happened here? In Rabbi, place? before we get to tell, telling people what happened here and travel back in time, we need to understand something. If we don't study history, if we don't study Torah, if we don't study what's going on, those are witnesses crying out to us, letting us know, listen, do not forget the past because it's going to repeat itself. It is repeating itself. Okay. You asked, uh, you went to the center, the information, the tourist center, asking where, actually, can you please I, say I, that? I, actually, no, no. Yeah, two things. I went 60 seconds inside because right to the right of me, actually, you know what, Oscar? Just for the fun of it, 
we, we're not going to film it now because we should keep this around. But 10 feet from me is the Inquisition Center yeah. of, of where the Jews were interrogated. Mm -hmm. And 20 minutes from me is where they were burned down. Terrible. So we're standing in these things. And I asked them in this center, uh, uh, next door, mm -hmm. next door. Yes. Uh, can you help me to the Inquisition building, center, center? No, there was no Inquisition here. Mm -hmm. There's no Inquisition center. And then you asked for the manager. I asked for the manager. He said, no, 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 uh, you must be confused. There's no Inquisition center here or building. Friends, we are standing right now on the courts of the king. I want you to get it. We'll talk a little bit about this, maybe a little bit later, the courts of the king. But this is the place, the Inquisition mm. center, uh, uh, we're here watching like a spectators when the famous debate between uh, Paolo Cristiani and the Ram Ramban took place. So right here, can you imagine those steps behind you right now? People have no idea what took place here. That is the place of the main event in 1263. Robert, what were one you thing that surprised me the most was where oh. was Pablo? Christiani from. Pablo was a, was a Jew. He was a Jew. That took upon himself by choice mm -hmm. the Catholic faith yes. to fight Jewish people. Inc incredible. <laughs> Not only that, uh, Oscar, guess what? They publish a false, <laughs> their own version of the debate. Saying that they false won. False election, <laughs> false election, you know. Uh, yeah. It rings a bell. Yeah, but anyways, we're standing here today because we are crying out. Yes. That's what we want you to do this Shabbat. We want you to cry out to the heavens. Yeshua says, even if the, if the stones, uh, if you, he said, even out of those stones, I can raise children. And you know, the amazing thing, people don't know about some of the stones here, yeah. mm -hmm. but you have a chance to see it. Yes. You see some of the Hebrew names. And the stones of the cathedrals. So they tried to burn us, they tried to destroy us, but the stones still, still remain. Hallelujah. That's, Hallelujah. Good. That's a faithful thing. Yes. The Lord is faithful. When we're starting a brand new book, Shabbat is upon us here in uh, Catalonia. We are entering into Shabbat. We want to give you Shabbat Shalom from Espania. A tree, two, <laughs> one. Shabbat, Shabbat shalom. shalom from Espania. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kidshanu b'mitzvotav, V'tzivanu lehad likner, lehad likner, Shel Shabbat. Amen. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, King of the universe, who sanctified us with his commandments and has commanded us to kindle the lights of Shabbat. Amen. We welcome now Hazan Gordon. Thank you so much for leading us in the sweet melodies of the Shabbat. <laughs> Israel or a blessing car, Shabbat, 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 Minuka, Zivita Pickle Dim Bimama, Zinai, Shabbat, the more dimish more before Shanai, the Aroch Lepanai, Maseka Aroha, Shabbat, Shabbat, Minuka. Yisrael ora v'simcha Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat menucha Yom zel Yisrael ora v'simcha Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat Sing it again with me Zivit hapik v'odim v'mamat Sinai Shabbat u'moadim l'shmor v'chor shanai L'aroch l'panai v'atzeit v'arocha Shabbat, Shabbat Menucha. Together, Yom Zer Yisrael Ora V'Simcha. Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat Menucha. Yom Zer Yisrael Ora V'Simcha. Shabbat, 
Shalom. Moving on. Shalom Alechem, Alechem Hasharem, Alechem. In God's hand are the depths of the earth, the peaks and the mountains are God's. God's is the sea, God made it, and the land which his hands fashioned. Come, let us bend the knee, bow down, and kneel before Adonai our Maker. For Adonai is our God, and we are the people God tends, the flock in God's care. Oh, if you would but heed God's charge this day. Arba'im shana akut bedor Ba'omar amto elevav hem Vehem lo yado udrachai Asher nishpati v'api Im yivohun el menuchati Shiu l'adonai shir chadash Shiu l'adonai kol ha'aretz Sing to Adonai a new song Sing to Adonai all the earth Sing to Adonai, bless God's name, proclaim, proclaim God's victory day after day. 
Tell of God's glory among the nations, God's wondrous deeds among all peoples. For Adonai is great and much acclaimed. God is held in awe by all divine beings. All the gods of the peoples are mere idols. But Adonai made the heavens. Glory and majesty are before God. Strength and splendor are in God's temple. Yismehu ashamayim betagel ha'aretz Yiram hayam umeloho yalo sadai v'chol ashepo Az yiranenu kol atzei ha'ar Ifnei Adonai giva giva lishpot ha'aretz Yishpot evel betzedek Adonai Malach Targel Ha'aretz Adonai is sovereign, let the world rejoice. God's throne is founded on justice. Though God be clouded from view, divine justice reveals God's presence. God's lightning illuminates the earth, fire consumes God's foes. Mountains melt like wax before Adonai, the earth trembles. The heavens proclaim God's righteousness. All people behold His majesty. Shame covers those who worship idols, those who take pride in revering images, which must themselves bow low before God. Hearing of your judgments, Adonai, Zion exults, and the cities of Judah rejoice. You are supreme over all the earth, highly exalted beyond all that is worshipped. Those who love Adonai hate evil. God protects the faithful and saves them from the wicked. Light is stored for the righteous, joy for the honorable. Rejoice in Adonai, you who are righteous. Acclaim the holiness of God's name. Adonai, Shomer or zaru ala tzadik, tu yishrei lev simcha. Simchlu tzadikim badonai, tehodu lezecher kotcho. Mizmor shiru l'adonai shir chadash, ki niflaot asa, hoshia lo yemino zua kotcho. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has performed wonders, his right hand and holy arm have wrought deliverance for him. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his justice before the eyes of the nations. He has remembered his loving kindness and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the farthest corners of the earth witness the deliverance by our God. Raise your voices in jubilation to the Lord. All the earth burst into joyous song and chanting. Sing to the Lord with a harp with the harp and the sound of song, with trumpets and the sound of the shofar. Jubilate before the King, the Lord. The sea and its fullness will roar in joy, the earth and its inhabitants. <laughs> Adonai Malach Yigzu Amim Adonai is sovereign, nations tremble. God is enthroned on high, the very earth quivers. Adonai is great in Zion, exalted over all peoples. Let them praise God, for God is awesome, holy. The king is mighty, he rules with the love of justice. You alone bring about equity, ordaining justice and compassion for the people of Jacob. Exalt Adonai, our God. Worship God, who is holy. Moses, Aaron, and Samuel, God's chosen ones, called out to Adonai, who answered them in a pillar of cloud. They zealously strove to obey the divine law, even when God's decrees were beyond their grasp. You responded to them with compassion, even as you rebuked them for their offenses. Extol Adonai and bow toward God's holy temple. Adonai, our God, is holy.
Adonai Eloheinu Atanitam El nosea it lahem venokem ala lilotam Romemu Adonai Eloheinu Veishtachavu lehar kacho Ki kadosh Adonai Eloheinu Mizmor le David. Mizmor le David. Havul Adonai b'nei lim. Havul Adonai kavod ba'oz. A psalm of David ascribed to Adonai, O divine beings. Ascribed to Adonai glory and strength. Ascribed to Adonai the glory of, of God's name. Bow down to Adonai majestic in holiness. The voice of Adonai is over the waters. The God of glory thunders, Adonai, over the mighty waters. The voice of Adonai is power. The voice of Adonai is majesty. The voice of Adonai breaks cedars. Adonai shatters the cedars of Lebanon. God makes Lebanon skip like a calf, Sirion like a young wild ox. The voice of Adonai kindles flames of fire. The voice of Adonai convulses the wilderness. Adonai convulses the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of Adonai causes cows to calve, strips forest bare, while in God's temple all say glory. Adonai sat enthroned at the flood. Adonai sits enthroned sovereign forever. May Adonai grant strength to God's people. May Adonai bestow on God's people well-being. Kol Adonai Yechalel ayalot, vayechesov yarot, uvechalo kolo, omer kavod. Adonai lamabol yeashav, vayeshiv adonai melech laulam. Adonai oz lemo yitain Adonai varreich Et amo ha-shalom Shabbat Shalom, before we enter to the Lechad Odi, Ana Bekoach. Shabbat Shalom, y antes de entrar en el Ejado Di y el Ana Bekoa. Oh, we're doing it in Spanish. I thought uh, we're just going to uh, talk. Listen, sometimes I forget we're well, we doing Spanish and English. Well, we are in Spanish. We're Sephardat. Well, let, let's... Well, well, I'll follow you in English. Well, mm -hmm. let's just talk a little bit about this yeah, parasha yeah, this yeah, week. Yeah, we'll just do it. But guys, again, we are standing in the place. Mm -hmm. You know what? We don't need to talk about Torah in this segment. We'll talk about it next segment. I want to talk a little bit about this story for a second. Yeah. 1263, right here, there is a city 45 minutes uh, uh, away from here called Gerona. That's the place where the Ramban, the Ramban itself was uh, uh, from and is coming here to the home turf of the Inquisition building, which was standing. Remember, Inquisition was anybody who was against the Catholic Church. Yeah. And He's coming in to the lion den, mm. and, he, and the king says, listen, we need to know the truth. So let's do a debate among Jews and Christians. Let's make sure we do this debate and see who wins yeah. in the Mondial, in the World Cup. Yes. Well, it's amazing that one of the arguments by Pablo Cruciani was, look at the power of the Catholic Church. Yeah, so look many. At, look at the building. The look building, at so many, so big. And he says to him, he answered to him and says to him, uh, the Ramban, yeah, but it says that Mashiach will bring peace to the world. Yeah. The Catholic Church is not bring peace to the world. Yes. It's, it was amazing. This place was full. Immediately after that, the Catholic Church tried to kill. Murder. Yes. Yeah, but you see, the Ramban walked with the favor of the king. Amen. He walked with the favor of the king. And today, we need to walk with favor. So we're going to pray today in the Anna Bekoach prayer for favor to be Definitely. here. So imagine, this is all the other side. It's all Jewish quarter here. There is a man named the Rashba. We are going to learn about him uh, in the weeks ahead. And the Rashba is also, he's a financier, mm -hmm. you know, and he is uh, 
very good with the king as well. But as well as being really good with the king, he's really good with the Jewish people and he's uh, yes. building one of the five synagogues here in Barcelona. So, so where was he? Just, let me ask you a trick question. Where was he when 1263 took place? Where was he? Where was the Rashba? Rashba was, uh, he was here. Exactly! <laughs> the Rashba is here, he's in the crowd. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, Ramban. Because he was a disciple. He was a disciple, Of yeah. Ramban. Yes. So here he is in the crowd, he, the Ra'a, and many other of the rabbis. And they're watching one side. Can you imagine one side Jews, one side uh, Catholic? They're standing on this, on this here and they're having this debate. And you know what? The Ramban won the debate. Definitely. He won it the Koach, with the spirit and the conviction and the truth of the Lord. We pray for the Anna Bekoach so much. Do you know how you get Koach? You get Koach from the truth. Yes. Remain truthful. Remain truthful and you will have the Koach. Let's go to the Lekado Di and the Anna Bekoach. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everyone.
来来来，立刻热卡拉！来来来，本内沙巴，本内沙巴，你他。
A song for Shabbat. It is good to acclaim Adonai, to sing your praise, exalted God. To affirm your love each morning and your faithfulness each night, to the music of the lute and the melody of the harp. Your works, Adonai, make me glad. I sing with joy of your creation. How vast your work, Adonai! Your designs are beyond our grasp. The thoughtless cannot comprehend. The foolish cannot fathom this. The wicked may flourish, springing up like grass, but their doom is sealed. For you are supreme forever. Your enemies, Adonai, your enemies shall perish. All the wicked shall crumble. But for me, you have greatly exalted. I am anointed with fragrant oil. I have seen the downfall of my foes. I have heard the despair of my attackers. artist cannot be continually wielding his brush. He must stop at times in his painting to freshen his vision of the object, the meaning of which he wishes to express on his canvas. Living is also an art. We dare not become absorbed in its technical processes and lose our consciousness of its general plan. The Shabbat represents those moments when we pause in our brushwork to renew our vision of this object. Having done so, we take ourselves to our painting with clarified vision and renewed energy. This applies to the individual and to the community alike. Praise Adonai, the Blessed One. Praise Adonai, the Blessed One, now and forever. Adonai, <laughs> Baruch Adonai HaMevorach Le'olam Ba'el Baruch Adonai HaMevorach Le'olam Ba'el Sing with me. 
this time, Barahumar, and Adonai Amenora, Bar, and Adonai Amenora, Baruch Adonai Amenora, Elam Ma'ed, Baruch Adonai. Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam, Asher Bidvaro Mariv Aravim, Bechochma Poteach Shearim, Uvit Vuna Meshane Itim, Umechalif et Hazmanim, Umesader et Akochavim, Bemish Menotehem, Barakia Kiritzono, Boe Yom Balaila, Golel Or, Upne Mipne Hoshech, the Hoshech Mipne Or. Blessed are you, Adonai our God. King of the universe, who by his word brings on evenings, with wisdom opens gates, with understanding alters, alters periods, changes the seasons, and orders the stars in their heavenly constellations as he wills. <laughs> El Chai Bechayam, Tamid Mochaleinu Leulam Ba'ed, Baruch Ata Adonai, Amahariv Haravim. You create day and night. You roll away the light before the darkness, and the darkness before the light. You make the day pass and bring on the night. You divide the day from the night. The Lord of hosts is your name. Living God and enduring continually, may you reign over us forever and ever. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings on the evening. <laughs> All Judaism begins with the commandment, Hear, O Israel. But what does it mean? What does it really mean to hear? People who attend a concert with their mind on business hear, but do not really hear. The person who walks amid the songs of birds and thinks only what he or she will have for dinner hears but does not really hear. The one who listens to the words of his friend or spouse or child and does not catch the note of urgency, notice me, help me, care about me, hears but does not really hear. 
the individual who listens to the news and thinks only of how it will affect business, hears but does not really hear. The one who stifles the sound of their conscience and tells themselves they have done enough already, hears but does not really hear. The person who hears the Chazan pray but does not feel the call to join with him, hears but does not really hear. In three books of the Bible, Deuteronomy, Mark, and Luke, we find the Shema. Yeshua was asked, which is the most important commandment? And he answered, as we do now, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. And Yeshua continued, the second greatest commandment is, Ve'ahavta l'reacha kamocha, love your neighbor as yourself. And you shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your might. And these words which I command you today shall be upon your heart. And teach them diligently to your children. And speak of them when you sit in your home, and when you walk along the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. And bind them as a sign on your arm. And let them be tefillin between your eyes. And write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. True and trustworthy is all this. And it is established with us that He is the Lord our God. There is none beside Him, and we, Israel, are His people. It is He who redeemed us from the hand of kings, even our King who delivered us from the grasp of all tyrants. The God who on our behalf dealt out punishment to our adversaries, 
and requited all our mortal enemies, who does great things, yes, and wonders without number. Who maintains us in life and does not suffer our feet to slip, who made us overcome and conquer our enemies and exalted our strength above all them that hated us, who wrought for us miracles and retribution upon Pharaoh, signs and wonders in the land of the children of Ham, who in his wrath smote all the firstborn of Egypt and brought forth his people Israel from among them to everlasting freedom. When his children witnessed his power, they extolled him and gave him thanks. Freely they acclaimed him king and full of joy. Moshe and all Israel sang this song. <laughs> Grant, O God, that we lie down in peace and raise us up our guardian to life renewed. Spread over us the shelter of your peace. Guide us with your good counsel. For your namesake be our help. Shield and shelter us beneath the shadow of your wings. Defend us against enemies, illness, war, famine, and sorrow. Distance us from wrongdoing. For you, God, watch over us and deliver us. For you, God, are gracious and merciful. Guard our going and coming to life and to peace evermore. Blessed are you, Adonai, guardian of Israel, whose shelter of peace is spread over us, over all your people, Israel, and over Yerushalayim. Ashkiveinu Adonai, Eloheinu Lishalom, Hamiteinu Malveinu Lechayim. Ashkiveinu Adonai, Eloheinu Lishalom, Hamiteinu Malveinu Lechayim. One more time together, Hashi Venu. Hashi Venu Adonai. Eloheinu leshalom, amiteinu malcheinu lechayim. Hashkiveinu Adonai, Eloheinu leshalom, amiteinu malcheinu lechayim. The children of Israel shall guard the Shabbat day in all generations as a covenant for all the world. Between me and the children of Israel it is a sign forever that in six days Adonai made heaven and earth, 
And on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. When God was about to give the Torah to Israel, he summoned the people and said to them, My children, I have something precious that I would like to give you for all time, if you will accept my Torah and observe my commandments. The people then asked, Master of the universe, what is that precious gift that you have for us? The Holy One, blessed be he, replied, It is the world to come. The people of Israel answered, Show us an example of the world to come. The Holy One, blessed be He, said, The Shabbat is a sample of the world to come, for that world will be one long Shabbat. <laughs> Our God and God of our fathers, may you be pleased in our rest, sanctify us in your commandments, and grant us our portion in your Torah. Satisfy us by your goodness, gladden us in your salvation, and purify our heart to serve you truthfully. 
In love and favor, Adonai our God, grant us your holy Shabbat as a heritage, and may Yisrael, who sanctifies your name, rest in it. Blessed are you, Adonai, who makes the Shabbat holy. Eloheinu, Elohei Avoteinu, God, bless and protect our nation. Guide those who lead us with a renewed belief and understanding of in who you are. Bless the household of Israel wherever they dwell. Be with us here where we worship you in freedom. And may those who live under oppressive rule find release and liberty speedily in our own day. May your favor rest upon Israel, her land, her people. Protect her against hatred and war. Grant that the promise of her beginning may ripen into fulfillment, bringing comfort to those who seek refuge, light to those who dwell in darkness, new hope to all humanity. This we ask in the precious name of Yeshua HaMashiach. As we join together now in the Aleinu, it is customary for us to rise. If you are able, please join me. Aleinu l'shabech la'adon ha'kol L'adet l'ula l'yotzer b'reshit Sh'lo asano k'goye ha'aratzot V'lo samanu k'mishpachot adama Sh'lo sam chelkenu k'ahem V'gor aleinu k'chol ha'mo we May 
give the time not be distant, Adonai, when your name shall be worshipped in all the earth, when unbelief shall disappear and error be no more. Fervently we pray that the day may come when all shall turn to you in love, when corruption and evil shall give way to integrity and goodness, when suspicion and superstition shall no longer enslave the mind, nor idolatry blind the eye, when all who dwell on earth shall know that you alone are God. O oh, may all created in your image become one in spirit and one in friendship, forever united in your service. Then shall your kingdom be established on earth and the word of your prophet fulfilled. The Lord will reign forever and ever. We recite the Mourner's Kaddish. Um, those of you mourning and remembering the anniversary of a close family member, a loved one, um, parent, child, uh, brother, unmarried sister, you'll rise and recite with me. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shmei raba. Amen. Be'alma divra chiruteh v'yamlich malchuteh v'yitzmach porkaneh v'kareh Yeshua Meshichay. Amen. Bechayechon v'yomechon v'chayeh d'chol b'et Yisrael b'agalav v'zman kariv v'imwu. Amen. Yehei shmei raba mevorach le'olam ulalmei almaya yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitomam v'yitnaseh Vitada vit hale vit hala shmede kutcha brichu. Le ela min kol birchata vishirata, tush bechata venechemata, damian belma vemu. Amen. Yehesh la mara ba min shemaya vehaim elene vel kol yisael vemu. Amen. O se shalom bimumav. Huya se shalom elene vel kol yisael vemu. Amen. Amen. Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen.
Shabbat Shalom. Join with me in the Kiddush. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaGefen Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav Meratzavanu V'shabar Kodsho Be'ahava Uvratzon Hinchilanu Zikaron le maase vereshit. Ki hul yom tehila le mekra e kodesh. Zeicher litziat mitzrayim. Join me. Ki vanu vacharta. Beltano kedashta mikol halmim v'shabat kol shecha be'ahavah uvratzon inchaltanu baruch atadonai mikadesh. A Shabbat Amen. Shabbat Shalom to everybody who's watching us. Shabbat is nearly upon us here. Definitely here. Where are we, Rabbi? Again. We are here next to the right of the Inquisition Center. <laughs> I am in the middle, middle of the court of the king and the place where the disputation of Barcelona. Rabbi, I've been, I've been uh, under you studying for many years now, and I have not experienced so much anti-Semitism in 17 today. hours. Amazing, amazing. Matter of fact, just check this out. This just happened today. I have a little video surprise to you. We are just in the other side, and the guy sent me with a kippah. He says to me, I wish I had a camera for that. Hmm. He said, you Jewish? I said, yes. Oh, you killers, you yeah. Jewish killers, and keep on walking. Hmm. I took the camera, I said to Oscar, Oscar, we're going after the guy. Mm -hmm. Look how he changes too. Check this out. This has happened today. Anti-Semitism is real. Check this out. And this guy was a tour guide. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> In front of Ama him. Hundreds Ama of people. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, Check let's this continue. Out. What up, you? Hi. Oh. So we are the killers. They, you did the Inquisition here. Inquisition. Yeah, Inquisition. and we are the killers. No, no, no. Now, we are... now, no. I'm not uh, no, oh, so Historia not important, no, huh? No, well, oh, I, what you did here I to the Jews in the... Yeah, but I think, no, we are communication. So you called me a killer and I am no, a communication? Yes, no, you all said all the all Jews are killers. The, the Christian. Ah, the Christian. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said the Jews are the key. No, no, it's Jews. Ah, okay. I just want to make sure. Okay, okay. I'm a, I'm a Pacific man. Oh, but to, so why you say killer to me? When you no. say you're a Jewish killer, why did I don't you know say? Now. What is the no, problem? you know what you said to me. You know what you said to me. Yes. You say, are you Jewish? No, Jewish no, is no, no. Oh, now it's okay because I'm with a microphone. No, I know what you did. Anti-Semite. Anti-Semite. So this man saw me. He says, are you, you're Jewish? Oh, you are killers. You are killers. Now I come with the microphones. Look, before this, look at this, look at this. Before this, and now he says, oh, no, 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 it's okay. Because he saw I come with the camera. Friends, you are standing here. You are standing here. Come here, come here. The anti-Semitism is just absolutely incredible, incredible. Behind me is where the disputation of Barcelona took place, just so you understand. And here, this glorious place we're standing, this is where the Inquisition Center was. I want you to understand. This is the place right here. Wow, what a lovely market, right? Not really. This is the place where they burned down the Jewish people, right here in this area. He brought them right here in front of the church, in front of the church, and they did a massive burning where Jews have to confront the sins 
against the church. I want you to understand this. I recorded this because this guy was trying to mess around and, and have an anti-Semitic slur. So I ran after him and said, come on, say it to the camera. But he was not willing to do this to the camera. But this is the reality here in Sepharad. I want you to understand, everybody got to come and be here with us, especially during this September worldwide event. God bless everybody. Oscar, this is amazing. Yeah. 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 Well, guess what? We're standing proudly and boldly, and we're believing that the God of Israel live even in the midst of this chaotic Amen. place. Definitely. I want to speak to you about this today because in the parasha this week, Parashat Vaikra, yes, we see a, 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 a wonderful verse. It says, "And Adonai called Moshe spoke to him from the tent of meeting." Mm -hmm. Do you notice where God's speaking from? Yes. He's speaking mitoch oel moed. Mm -hmm. He's not speaking from outside oel moed. Listen. He are not yet entered to El Moed. You remember Aaron is about to be inaugurated right. as the highest priest of Israel. And here he's saying he's calling him from the inside of a place before he's inaugurated. There is a very important principle here for us to remember. God is calling us from the inside, hmm. even if we're not fully qualified. You yes. follow what I'm saying yes. to you today? People of God, he is calling him. And he's calling. So why would God call you from his inside, even you're not qualified? This is a very important thing. Because the next verse says, Daber al Bnei Israel, it's all for the welfare of Bnei Israel. Yes. Sometimes God is calling us, even if we're not qualified, if for the benefit of other people around ourselves. You, you follow the, there, there is a Davao Musa here that I feel that is very important. Aaron Cohen is yet to be inaugurated. That's but Mashiach. He's, yeah, but he's calling him, he's bringing him, he's bringing Aaron closer mm -hmm. so the preparation of all Klal Israel. And I'm thinking about this today. We are uh, perhaps not fully qualified to do the things that Hashem is calling us to do. Mm -hmm. We maybe are not fully qualified to do that, but God is going to call us. And here we're going to see the answer. Why is God calling him? Put your point, the, your, your, your finger on the book of Leviticus chapter four, verse three. Rabbi, before we get to Leviticus chapter four, one thing that I see here in this Torah portion is that he's calling Moshe Rabbeinu by name. He calls by each name. and every one of us today by name, even, even if we're not ready. And the small Aleph there in Vaikra, you can see that the, sure. our, our fundamental uh, characteristic has to be humility, just like Moshe Rabbeinu, which is, a, which is a picture of Messiah. Which is, a, you know, it's interesting, when a child is born, the very first book you learn in the Bible mm -hmm. is Leviticus. Yes, definitely. It's not Genesis, but it's rather Leviticus. Yes. And Perhaps he called him because Moshe Rabbeinu was a miniature, yes. like a miniature Aleph, and God called you to be like this miniature Aleph. But you know, here's the way we become miniature. And I think this is something, everything that is happening here in the Torah portion, this week and next week in the inauguration of Moshe in Parashat Tzav, mm -hmm. occurring because Aaron is going to serve as a Mashiach Definitely. for the people. If you want to be called to things, even if you're not fully qualified and see the grace of God, Aaron maybe was not fully qualified yet, mm -hmm. is you doing it because you, you're doing it when you find the welfare of the world around of other yes. people. Yes. And that's the key. If you do things to when you want to qualify for your sake, sake of yourself, you're never going to be good enough. You're never be going to be stoyer. But when you do those things, for the benefit of the community mm -hmm. is, is a different story. And here in Leviticus 4.3, he says, listen to this. He says, and I quote, if the Kohen Mashiach was to incur guilt, so that the blame fall upon the people, he shall offer the sin which is guilty to the poor herd without blaming or sin offering to Adonai. You notice this is called Kohen Mashiach. Mashiach is a king. Yes. Mashiach is a king, but Kohen is a priest. From that we understand that Mashiach have two facets. He have a facet of a king and he have a facet of a, a, a priest. But what he said that he's incurring guilt and it's felt the, the blame fall upon the people. You see, this is the thing that everybody has to understand. The relationship between Mashiach and Israel, and Israel is Mashiach is interchangeable. Yes. If Israel sin, Mashiach sin. Yes. 
And if Mashiach sin, mm -hmm. Israel sin. Of course. So we are dependent upon them. So today, there is this tradition that every person who's born day, day, we say this can be the possible Mashiach in the world, right? Mm -hmm. Every child who was born said we will be, we put him the, the seat of David, we say. Mm -hmm. We can learn something important for this. And I want to connect it back to Ramban for a moment. Think, imagine what would happen if Ramban would have sinned here and would have lost the debate, or if Ramban would convert to Catholicism here. Think about what would happen. It's terrible. Right? On the separate, think about this. I am a Jew, and I do not want to accept the Catholic Church, mm -hmm. but I see my neighbor accept Catholicism. Yeah. What do you think it would do to me? Yeah. What do you Terrible. think my sin would it cause me to say, I need to give up on my own Judaism, yes. and I need to become unconversal as well? Yeah. The sins of the conversals is like exactly what the Torah portion is speaking about here. It's a sin that affected the people around themselves. So. Yes. And that's something we have to understand about those type of sins. We, 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 we are today in an environment that if we are thriving and succeeding as a remnant, it can encourage people up. Mm -hmm. But if we fail, it can pull people down. Also. Definitely, Rabbi. One thing that uh, when, I, when we go back in time to the same place, there were Jews who, just like any other person now here today, who have a choice. There was people who died and uh, rejected anything unclean, rejected, uh, not studying Torah and not uh, being... And they gave their and, life and for this event, Kiddush Hashem. You know, so we need to look at those people that, that, that have done things positively for to sure. be able to, to continue and prosper in this walk. Men like the Ramban that decided, you know, to being here, Rab, is putting your head on a plate in a guillotine for, for the Roman church. Can you imagine that? You know, that's I mean, courageous. Coming here, that's courageous. Next to the Inquisition Center. Of course. Yeah, matter of fact, if you turn this, just turn the camera for me a little bit, just to give you a perspective, friends. This is where the debate took place. Yes? Yeah, keep on coming, keep on coming. If we're doing it real time, guys, I hope you are. Yeah, you see this? This is the beginning. This is the end of the Inquisition Center. So just imagine that. They would have come here from the Inquisition Center to the main event. This is what we need to understand. Exactly what it says in the Talmud. Each one of us see itself as half meritous and half liable. If our liability is greater than our merit, it is as we destroy the entire universe. But if our merit is greater than our liability, that is as we save the entire world. Go in those days, look at this. Aaron Akoena Gadol, next week parasha, his own children have died. And you have to make a choice. Have I sinned and I go to bury the dead or I continue in obedience to God? It's about choices. It's about choices, not to sin. It's about our choices to raise up the community and those around us. This Shabbat, we are, what's say Shabbat, we're going to enter to Megillat Esther. And as you guess, we are here in Barcelona for an historic time. And this time here is because we want to see a community that will cause people not to see, but to come up. We need this community because this place is filthy. It's filthy spiritually. It's filthy with anti-Semitism. We filthy with anti-Jewish and filthy with anti-God. But how ironic is on some of those stones that you see here, Hebrew is still being written. And you know how? They took the stones of the Jewish dead people at the tombstones and they put it here to build places like the Inquisition Center. What a shocking thing that is. So with that being said, I'm asking you today to partner with us, support us, be part of the work that is being done here in Sepharad and all throughout uh, the world of a tikkun, of a historic tikkun, of the remnant. Uh, we're going to read this Shabbat, Megillat Esther, what is the story of Esther? What can we learn? How do we hear the voice of God, Vaikra? This how do we do that? We do it in a very simple way. We take off the mask and we become transparent with the sham. That is the story of Megillat Esther. A book when the Bible, the name of Hashem in the Bible, the only book in the, in the Bible that the name of God does not even explicitly mention. And all what he wants you is to be like Esther. Be concealed when you need to be so concealed and be revealed when the time to be revealed. 
be all things to all people in order to bring the salvation to the house of Israel. I hope that you will join us Sunday, 4 p.m. for the reading of the Megillah worldwide. We ten teachings, Termoim, that teach prophetic Shiwim for you. We are going to continue to update you. We are doing the same thing here in Barcelona. Those buildings will not stand when Mashiach comes. I promise you that. Get ready for the fall of Edom, friends. Read this book. Get yourself ready. Mashiach is at the doors. He is at the gates. God bless you. I wish everybody Shabbat Shalom from the courtyards of the King of Kings. Shalom, everybody. My name is Dr. Itzhak Shapira. I'm the author of the new book, The Fall of Edom, Decoding of Vadya Vision. I urge everybody to get your hand on this book in this season. If you want to understand the words of the Nevi'im that says that in the Harit Ayamim there will be a Persian horse here in the land, I will urge you to read this important book. The Geula is near and each and every one of us need to know their part in preparing for the coming of Mashiach. Because of that, I wrote this book as part proof two to the new Hamas book. All the Nevuot about the Hamas. Now we're going to look at the prophet Ovadia and understand what Ovadia message is to the Jewish people, to the nations. Quickly, 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 especially to the nations. Run out, flee out of Edom. Know how to do it and know what Hashem is telling you to do. I urge you this book now translated to so many languages, French and Spanish, and we urge you to get ready. Mashiach coming soon and you need to know your part in preparation for the Geula. Please visit it. It's available on Kendall or in Avata Mi website. May all of us get ready for the coming of the Mashiach and know the foe. Know the foe. Know the enemy that is standing before Israel today, Hasatan himself. Let us get ready because there are two Edoms, not one. An earthly Edom and an heavenly Edom. And we are going to decode them both and understand the connection of Edom to the coming of Mashiach, Ben Yosef and Ben David ultimately in this last days. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Get your hands on this book. You will thank me later. From Yerushalayim, we wish you shalom, everybody, literal.